Good morning everyone, I am Sonurai and in this tutorial I am going to discuss about wall, how to use wall in Revit architecture. So the wall option is given in the ribbon panel in architecture, uh, this part and uh, if you go and see here, there is wall and there is one drop down arrow, shortcut command you can use WA and in this drop down arrow. If you click there is wall architectural, wall structural, wall white face, wall sweep and wall reveal. So in architectural part <coughs> you will leave this wall structural because this is used by structural uh, engineers and this wall white face when we will go to massing and side we will use this wall white face and for now we will uh, just uh, discuss about wall architectural wall sweep and wall reveal i will tell you in later videos so if you select this wall architectural let's select it so when i am selecting you are getting some modify uh, panel here i mean which uh, it's written uh, height level to uh, distance wall central line location line offset radius so i will tell you about this and in properties palette, it is written basic wall generic editing. So, so uh, there are various uh, categories of walls in Revit, which comes default, in which this uh, basic wall generic at inch. But in India and in many countries, we use a uh, uh, wall thickness nine inch. That I will tell you uh, later how to change and edit wall and change its properties from eight inch to nine inch. But by default it is 8 inch and in, if you take mm it is 200 mm. So if you click this there are various types of wall like uh, exterior brick and CMU, exterior CMU in self insulated foundation wall, generic, generic 5 inch, generic 6 inch, generic 8 inch. Generally we use generic 8 inch for our uh, project and there are also generic 12 inch and the interior walls also general interior five and a half four uh, seven by eight inches six one by eight inches retaining wall also and in the wall types only there is one category of curtain wall which i will discuss in later videos uh, in curtain wall they have three categories uh, like curtain wall one exterior glazing and store front they are uh, almost similar in uh, properties but there is little difference among three that i will let you know and there is one stacked wall so basics wall are here generic eight inch six inch four inch so suppose if you select this generic 8 inch wall let's select it if i am selecting if i am going to before drawing you uh, always try to draw within these elevation markers that will be easy and if you are going to modify place wall there is written height and depth so you will always select height because uh, uh, we are not considered about depth of wall we are always considered uh, what height we are going to give so i will select all height and and they say here is some uh, settings they will uh, and the warning window will come so in here it is written uh, if I am selecting it's written level 1 level 2 and unconnected so uh, I have not drawn any in previous video I have told already that how to add levels in Revit architecture but, but by default there are only two levels level 1 and level 2 so it is given here level 1 and level 2 suppose if you are adding more levels the, that it will come automatically here so what do you mean by if i am selecting uh, level 2 so whatever uh, height which will be in your uh, level floor level that height only wall will take automatically suppose this is level 1 and level 2 this height difference is 10 feet if i am going to floor plan and again i am going to wall architectural and i am selecting level 2 here and this height if i am taking whatever length i am taking wall 32 feet wall and if you go to your elevation you are clearly seeing 
the height it is automatically set to 10 feet so that uh, panel if you select level 10 feet level 2 it will come automatically 10 feet suppose if i am taking this to unconnected unconnected height is whatever height if you want to take you can take means if you want to take lower than 10 feet you will take uh, more than 10 feet whatever height uh, according to your project you can take suppose i am taking here 15 feet and i am drawing one wall here and if you want to delete this wall you can just select it and press delete on your laptop or in your computer and just to go to this elevation and you are clearly saying this height is 15 feet here and uh, the, so unconnected height means whatever height if you want we can change according to our project and again if i am going to the wall and uh, in next this category this is location line wall central line so what do you mean by wall central line wall central line if i am drawing this again this wall 15 feet wall you are seeing this that dash line in blue color that is our constraint which is in center so wall is drawing from central line wall central line and again if i am taking the there are there is drop down arrow if you are selecting uh, there is core central line but core central line will apply to uh, the like a stacked wall or the, the having more than two walls like cladding or uh, if i am taking this finish face exterior so finish face exterior if i am drawing this wall again you are saying the now the dash line is coming on the finish face of wall the wall is coming inside of that dash line so finish face exterior is the line that the it will not draw from central line the wall uh, the dash line will appear at the finish edge and uh, again if i am taking this uh, the next important is finish face interior so suppose i am selecting this finish face interior and I am drawing this wall again and you are clearly seeing the dash line is from finish face interior. So this is very handy while uh, doing any uh, drafting any CAD plan, floor plan. Uh, we can also import our CAD floor plan in Revit and work upon that and also in our project also. This will be very handy in later videos. So you have to just keep remember this location line how we are going to place this location line then chain what do you mean by chain chain is checked so the wall will be draw in chain automatically but again i am going to uncheck this so what will happen it will be not drawn in chain so next wall i i want i have to click again and it is not getting connected also so always uh, most in 90% cases we'll just check this and it will be now easy for us to draw all in chains so you have to always keep remember how to use this chain and this is offset so offset means whatever offset from this wall i am going to give suppose i am going to give offset here 3 feet and I am drawing this wall and you are taking uh, from my cursor it is getting 3 feet and again I am clicking this and I am taking this next wall next wall you are, uh, you are seeing this wall is getting drawn 3 feet from this wall first wall the second wall is getting offset of 3 feet and it will get connected again I am drawing this uh, wall I am drawing again this wall. I am taking first wall like this and drawing like this. So again I am drawing. So it will take 3-3 three, three feet distance. So 
offset is it is uh, most uh, very less used you will keep it zero fit and here it is given radius so what do you mean by this radius this is unchecked by default it is unchecked so this radius is nothing but it is your uh, fillet like in autocad you use fillet command this radius also works like same thing suppose i am <coughs> checking uh, this radius and i am giving this uh, radius distance one fit i am taking its three fit and i am drawing uh, uh, first let me uh, delete all this wall and i am going to wall and i am checking this radius and making it three fit again i am drawing this wall suppose this wall i am drawing and again i am ne next wall i am taking so you are seeing clearly that three fit fillet is drawn here three fit radius i was given if you want to uh, you can increase also so if you want to do fillet you can use this option you, you have to just check this radius and again if i am drawing taking five feet distance you clearly saying the fillet is as per five feet radius so if you uh, uncheck this the wall will be here yeah, at 90 degree and uh, what is the next option next option is join status allow so by default it will allow if you uh, un uh, if you check check this option to disallow what will happen i am drawing this wall and now it will not get trimmed so you are saying this edge are not connected so always keep it to allow so if you will allow the edge will automatically there will be trim offset everything you are not required to do anything so these are how to use this uh, modify place panel and in, there is draw panel so this is draw drawing option for drawing a wall so i was using this first option by default it, it will get selected automatically line and say uh, if you are drawing wall it will be in line command straight line and uh, let's uh, delete all this i am going to wall and uh, i am taking this option next is rectangle so suppose some rectangular shape you are required you will select this option and wall will be drawn rectangularly and uh, these dimensions are means temporary dimension these blue dimensions are called temporary dimensions and if you are uh, want to see this uh, length you have to click here the width and if you are to see if you want to see this width you have to click the length so you are clearly saying just you have to keep remember this these are temporary dimensions in blue and uh, uh, if you there is one arrow here if you want to make this temporary dimension this is just for reference that's why it is called temporary dimension if you will click this it will become permanent you have to just click that arrow now you are saying the dimensions are here and uh, if i am going to uh, wall and in next option this is inscribe polygon so suppose if you want to uh, draw any uh, polygon like five side six side pentagon hexagon heptagon here by default it is six side i am making it five i will draw any pentagonal shape so i will use this option and these all are uh, blue dimension are temporary dimensions for our uh, reference i will discuss about temporary dimensions and permanent dimensions in later videos this is circumscribed means the outer uh, pentagon which are constructed outside the circle that are circumscribed and i will make this side now seven it is similar to our previous command so you can draw seven sides eight sides whatever you want you can draw 
and this is a you will draw circular wall and this is arc if you want to make any draw any curve wall you will use this option you have to press first click then last click and then give your radius here whatever this is your center and arc you will first define the center then radius whatever radius suppose i want to uh, make a radius of uh, 21 feet i will just click there and draw our wall so this is center and arc this one is tangent and arc so tangent and arc it will suppose if i want to uh, draw wall this tangent it will take curve of any wall and you can draw tangent so this is also handy for if you are making any interesting shape so this tangent arc will come in handy and this one is fillet arc again i i told you that uh, suppose if you have already made wall and if you want to make fillet after making this was before only you were deciding that suppose in this uh, wall if you want to make before only fillet you will use this option but after suppose after you have drawn if you want to make fillet you will use suppose i want to make fillet after drawing my plan i want to make fillet here so i will use this option fillet arc i will use and then i will select this face and the next face and you can whatever fillet if you want you can give it here so it will get fillet after drawing also if you want to make fillet you can do so you can make interesting shapes the, the next one is pick line so pick line is uh means suppose uh it will pick any line and draw wall here suppose uh, you are making single line plan only or any floor plan suppose i am drawing here any uh i am going to model line model line i will discuss later i am drawing one line here and i am going to the wall and i am selecting this pick line so i am selecting this option pick line pick line is very handful in many uh, commands here in revit if i am going to select this pick line and i am going to select this line here and you are clearly saying the wall is drawn here after picking this line so this is very handy if you want to draw uh, you want to save some time uh, so you can just start picking the shape and the wall will be drawn according to your line your floor plan or uh, your floor you can just use this command the, the, the next one is pick faces so i will take uh, i will tell you this in massing when i will go to massing inside how will you pick the face of any mass and draw wall and in uh, later version of uh, revit after 2019 uh, means 2020 there is elliptical command also which is given here that you can use to draw elliptical walls but in uh, revit first you have to uh, if, uh, if you want to draw in 2019 you have to use this command ellipse here and uh, you will go to the wall again and you will use this pick line and you will you are not able to select this because this option is not working here okay so that is uh, improved in 2020 electrical walls you can make but uh, if you i will tell you so if you want to draw electrical walls you have to just upgrade to 2000 revit 2020 but uh, um, i will tell you in later how will you use in massing and side to draw electrical walls so that one command is added in revit 2020 so this is the 
panel how you will use this all commands to draw walls and here I was drawing everything in basic uh, wall generic 8 inch and if you want to uh, use another wall so like generic 12 inch <coughs> you can use and 12 inch also so all thickness will increase and there is many types like brick exterior CMU so there is it is like a stacked wall and if you want to see this detail you can go to just uh, visual style and you can create a realistic and also <coughs> you are seeing some Cladding here, but if you want to see more detail, you have to go to from coarse to fine. And you are saying the wall details like exterior CMU panel, you are able to see. If you will go to your view, 3D view, you will see the details, whatever walls I have drawn here, it is given here. And go to uh, realistic, and if you use this view cube. And you are saying this CMU wall is here. So it is showing realistic textures. So there are many different types of wall which you can use for your project. And, and there are also some in, uh, interior walls, also generic 5 inch interior partitions, also in gypsum interior. Uh, suppose I am taking these 5 and a half inches, you can draw this for you. It will be very handy so in next uh, video i will tell you how to edit wall properties in properties palette and use your in your project so this was a very uh, basic introduction to wall how to use wall in your architectural design it will be very handy for architectural interior design students please please if you like my videos please subscribe it first by using thumbnail which is given after subscribe panel and like my videos and give your valuable comments i will make more videos which will be very useful for architects and interior designers thanks thanks for watching